Hey, it's Tom from Inspiration Metalworks, and in this week's video, we move. Okay, so sorry, still a little wiped out from yesterday. Uh, we got to, we got most of the big stuff moved. I don't know. Probably can't see it. Behind the lathe is the the 440. Uh, you can kind of see the the VF2 over here on the side. Um, we're setting most of our stuff stuff over in this you know, general cross section of the uh, of the shop. Um, maybe if I can put a diagram up, I, I will. I, I don't know yet. Um, we'll see what comes out in editing. Uh, but let's take a look around a little bit. Uh, show you how things are going, and we'll we'll go from there. Hey. So, um, just a slightly different angle so you can kind of see. Um, we're going to move a few things around. So we got things in here and then decided that, hey, probably wasn't the right, uh, the right way to go. And we knew that was going to be the case. We knew we'd get stuff in and go, wait a minute, what about this table? Like, the table right here that this is on. Um, you know, we're going to move a few things and, and do it differently. Uh, now that we've got everything in here, we're like, hey, you know what would make sense is if we use that table over here and move the tool chest on that and then move this over here and then we can use that for layout. And, so, yeah, <laughs> what well, we expected. Um, so, yeah, the lathe is going to go, it's kind of hard to say. well, actually, about where the 440 is. The lathe will go there. Um, the 440 is going to go over here, well, yeah, over that way a bit more. Um, so I'll be able to, to still run a long bar if I need to, or a longer bar uh, into the lathe, and that'll be fine uh, with that. Um, <clears throat> Everything is just a wreck right now, so it's it's kind of hard to you know, give you an idea of where things are going. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna flip the camera. We'll just pan around. We'll take a look. There's the side of the VF2. I got my trusty helper working away. I think you can see her in the back there. Uh, she's detailing the, the plasma cam. Um, she wants it sparkly clean, and so we're doing that. Um, we've got the uh, the forklift that we uh, we rented from Sunbelt uh, Sunbelt Rentals did uh, a great job on supporting us on this move. Um, the drop off and everything they they really helped out. So, um, say hi. Finished. You're finished. Okay, cool. Let me just wrap this up and we'll we'll get out of here. Okay. Um, short video today, guys, because just wiped out. But I wanted to give everybody an idea. Um, I'm going to move the camera basically to where I'm standing and show you a little bit more over here, so you can see, and then uh, see what's going on on the manual side of things. All right, so you can see the manual side now. Um, one of the things, and this is where we started thinking, oh, hey, you know, that table that was there, let's move that and we'll put the lathe there and the table can be used for other things. So as you can see, um, on the manual side, we've got the bridge port, we've got the cold chester over here. Um, technically right over here where you can't see, we've got our sinks and stuff like that. Air compressors, all that will be done on that end. So we still have to move, um, <coughs> still have to move my air compressor over here. Uh, I've got the, the line dryer or the refrigerator dryers here, but um, we don't quite have everything yet. Um, so not everything's in place where it's going to go, but it's in the building with the AC on, because it is like 82 degrees today, which seems really nice technically compared to the 90 some degrees we've had, but with all the rain we've had, and you know, I'll, I'll put a quick, let's, in fact, let's look at that. This is going to slow things down a little bit. Okay, so with all the rain that we've had around here, and it's been off and on like that every day for two weeks, um, it's made the move uh, a bit of a challenge. But we got everything in here. Now we're just getting organized, putting stuff where we want it to go, getting our workflow set up right, and um, going from there. So a special thanks. Uh, I've had a few people really help me out. My buddy JD came with the trailer. My buddy Eddie uh, came uh, with his his truck, and you know both of those guys worked. I mean. I worked 12 hours yesterday. Each one of them worked uh, darn near the same amount. Uh, and my friend Marty came, helped drive the forklift, all kinds of stuff. Um, you know, and th this is you know, his space that we're you know, we get the front side of the space. So, uh, well, actually, we're getting like the outsides of, of the spaces. So, 
um, yeah, I spent a lot of a lot of work. Everybody's been really hustling, and uh, so a lot of great support. With that, let me uh, sign off. I've got hungry uh, little one waiting on me. Uh, not so little anymore, actually. But um, I want to say thanks again to all of you that support me in various ways. Watching these videos, subscribing, like. Uh, for those of you who uh, contribute on Patreon, and I haven't put a, a list up lately, so let's see if I can get a list up this time around. We'll see if that's up there now. Um, but uh, I really appreciate that, and uh, I think I might do something a little special this month for uh, for my Patreon supporters, so uh, we'll, we'll get through there. Uh, with that, let's, let's call it a wrap. Thank you very much. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate you subscribing, and I will see you again once I make a little sense out of all this chaos. Bye-bye. No, no, let it go. Raise it up again. Now don't, I, want, I don't want you moving anything. Just go ahead and raise the forks. Keep going. Raise them up more.